<laughs> friends, welcome back. Murders of Karlov Man. <laughs> I keep almost saying Markov. Uh, uh, wrong magic. Karlov Manor, Commander Dex. Uh, we got uh, Relevant Recon, uh, Black and Blue. Just kind of open stuff up, see what's in it, see if they, uh, if they're uh, worth the, the the value, the money, the you know what you're spending on them. Uh, and see if you've got a commander in there. That's something you want to build around. Just check it out. Hey guys, we got Revenant Recon. The uh, black blue deck. Um, uh, murders at Karlov Manor. I like that last deck that we did, uh, the Boros color one. Um, so yeah, let's see. Let's see what this one looks like. A little deck and a little. Wow. Boom. We'll take that. We'll stick in our little goodie box. Dang. Da, 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 da. Our case of tokens, plus one counters. Boom. Revenant Recon. Uh, with Mirko, Obsessive Theorist. Oh my goodness, come on. The package. How is everybody doing? Did I already ask that? Long week. Right away. Let's kind of pull out some of these lands here so I can actually hold this thing in one hand and go through it a little bit easier. So we got uh, Markov. There's our hard card. He is a legendary creature, vampire, detective, flying, vigilance. Uh, whenever you surveil, put a plus one counter on, uh, Mirko. Um, at the beginning of your end step, you may return target creature with power less than Mirko, uh, from your graveyard to the battlefield with a finality count counter on it. That's actually, that's actually really good. I like that. Uh, uh Marvo Deep Operative. This one is an octopus rogue. Uh, whenever Marvo attacks, clash with the defending player. Whenever you win a clash, draw a card, and then you may cast a spell from your hand with mana value 8 or less without paying its mana cost. You definitely want to be winning some clashes, because once you once you do that, that that's huge. 8 or less, that's, that's good stuff. Uh, Case of the Shining Vistage, with our Saga, Copy Catchers, Flying, whenever you surveil, you may pay one if you do create a token that's a copy, copy card's always fun, Final Word Phantom, uh, Flash, Flying, whenever an opponent ends step, you may cast spells as though they had Flash, that's always good too, yeah, especially, yeah, that's... Because lots of times you, you save the mana for your counter spells, but if you, you know, you don't want to just waste it, if you could use stuff and then it's kind of like get your mana twice. Boom, Watcher of Hours. Uh, whenever you remove time counter from Watcher of Hours while it's exiled, surveil one, suspend six. Uh, Charnel Serenade, surveil three, then return creature card from your graveyard. To the battlefield with a finality counter on it. Exile uh, with 
three time counters on it. Suspend three. Eye of Dusk Mantle. Flying Lifelink. There's a three eight also. You may pay your lands. You may play lands and cast spells from among cards in your graveyard. Uh, you've surveilled this turn. You may cast spells this way. You may pay the life equal to the mana cost rather than paying the mana cost. Wow. In Commander, that's good. In regular play, it probably wouldn't be very good. But Commander, yeah. You get some stuff. Get some stuff. Fortboating the Steamboat. How do people feel about vehicles? Like, I, there's been a couple decent ones that get some use. But there seems to be a lot that that just kind of get wasted. Anybody build the vehicle deck or anything that's, like, real, a lot of fun? I don't know. Let me know. Uh, whenever Foreboding Steamboat enters the battlefield, each player chooses two non-token, non-vehicle creatures they control. Exile them until Foreboding Steamboat leaves the battlefield. Whenever Foreboding Steamboat attacks, put a card exiled this way uh, into its over owner's graveyard. Uh, if you do, investigate. That's good. I was, the crew only two is is nice. You're not bogging down too many of your creatures. Uh, unshakable tail. Um, when unshakable tail enters the battlefield, and at the beginning of your upkeep, surveil one. Whenever one or more of your creature cards are put into the graveyard from your library, investigate. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Counterpoint, counter target spell. It's blue, of course, this counters in it. Uh, you may cast a creature, instant sorcery, planeswalker spell from your graveyard with mana less than or equal to that spell's mana value without paying its mana cost. Good stuff. Uh, ransom note. I think there was a ransom note in each one of the the decks. I feel like there was four of them I saw in the in the spoilers. Uh, Amphin Mutineer. Ooh, throw a pirate in there. Excellent. Uh, Dream Eater, Flash Flying, uh, when it enters the battlefield, surveil four. So much surveil. Uh, mission Briefing, surveil two, boom. Uh, Phyrexian Metamorph, oh hey, this is an oldie but goodie. Uh, enter the battlefield as a copy of any artifact creature on the battlefield, except for it's an artifact in addition to its other creature type. Boom, boom, boom. Sphinx of the Second Sun, I think we got to the... To the reprint, uh, Visor of Many Faces, Black Sun Zenith, Dog de Detective. When Dog Detective enters the battlefield, Surveil 2. Whenever an opponent draws a card, uh, their second card each turn, you may return Dog de Detective from your graveyard to your hand. Nice, nice. Doomed Whisper, Sick Sick Flying Trample. Grave Titan, oh, there's a big... Big beefy dude that's been around. Massacre Worm, another one of those ones. Just big classic creature. Uh, Overseer of the Damned. Wow, this is kind of kind of interesting. You got a lot of surveil, a lot of uh, um, um, like counter stuff, but then like creatures you got some big beefy stuff. Interesting to see how this would run. Uh, Phyrexian Arena, some card draw. Pile on as a convoke uh, and support control. Uh, Reanimate. There's a little bit of a uh, uh, return from your graveyard. Put all creature cards from all graveyards onto the battlefield. Uh, that's amazing. Toxic Deluge, a little board control. Twilight Prophet. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you have City's Blessing, oh, there we go, City's Blessing again. Reveal the top card of your library, put it into your hand. Each opponent loses X life, and you gain X life. Boom. Oh, Battleful Strix. They've reprinted that quite a bit of times, but I remember for a little while, there was a, I think it was an uncommon that was like a $10 uncommon for a little bit. Connive, Concoct, Lazav. Didn't they just... I feel like that was just reprinted in, like, the Ravnica Remastered. Maybe not, but... Uh, Master of Death. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, surveil two. Boom. And then your land. Get choked. Choked. 
catacomb, a drowned yard temple, fitted pool, boom, uh, river of tears, sunken hollow, strong, strong cards, uh, brainstorm, ah, uh, classic card draw, consider card draw, uh, curate card draw, deep analysis, card draw, oh, good stuff, enhanced surveillance, Fedra's dispersal, a mole drifter, uh, yeah, play it, draw some cards, Nightville Sprite, uh, whenever attacks surveil, otherworldly gaze, surveil, oh, so much surveil in this deck. You definitely, you're definitely going through some cards. Uh, Thoughtbound uh, Phantasm, whenever you surveil, put a plus one counter on it. <laughs> Perfect for this. Anime Dead, obviously. Necromancy, obviously. Yeah, if you're going to be throwing stuff in your graveyard, you might as well be able to use it later. Uh, Price of Fame, Destroy Target Creature. Boom! Ravenous Chupacabra, little board control creature. Um, a Shriek Maw, another board control creature. Sinister Starfish, Surveil. Um, Sire Conrad, whenever this creature dies or a creature card is put into the graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield or a creature card leaves the graveyard, um, Sire deals one damage to each opponent. Each player mills a card. Good stuff. Whispering Snitch, whenever you, uh, surveil for the first time each turn, it does one damage to each opponent and you gain one life. Oh. Perfect for this deck. Um, a Demir Spy Bug. Get a Menace. Uh, whenever you surveil, put a plus one counter on it. Good, good, good. Discovery Dispersal. Disinformation Campaign. When Disinformation Campaign enters the battlefield, you draw a card. And each opponent discards a card. Whenever you surveil, return Disinformation Campaign to its owner's hand. Uh, Notion Rain, Surveil 2, boom, and then we got our, we got our, uh, our, our mana buffers, Arcane, uh, Everflowing, Chalice, Signet, Mind Stone, Soul Ring, you know, the usual stuff, the huge, and some other lands, Bajuka Bog, <laughs> in case somebody else is playing something like this, you get rid of their graveyard, um, and a couple, a couple decent, um, lands for here uh, mystic sanctuary Doo -doo -doo. port of uh, carfell a rel tower rogue's passage a tainted isle good stuff good stuff uh to Tecasia's dig sites oh a surveil of course yep <laughs> um yeah, this is totally not the type of deck that I am used to playing. Um, so you guys tell me, do you think this is going to be any good? What kind of changes would you make? So, you know, put it down in the comments, you know, to so be like, hey, that card's terrible. Or, oh, we need to add this to it. Um, because uh, it looks fun. But like I said, yeah. Blue blue is not necessarily my jam. So uh, you guys got to tell me if you think this is good. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.